Welcome everyone to the uh, meeting in a box training for phase two of Plan East Tennessee. I'm going to hand it over to Rob Kearns with WRT to give an overview of the process and where we stand and just set the context a little bit. And then um, let me introduce myself. I'm Jocelyn Hiddle with Place Matters and I'll be walking through the meeting in a box materials and answering any questions that anyone has about how to use them. They are pretty straightforward, but we want to walk them through, walk through them and just explain in more detail what they um, are for and, and how best to use them. So Rob, I'm going to hand it over to you. Thanks, Jocelyn, and, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rob Kearns with uh, the firm of Wallace, Roberts, and Todd, and we're the lead uh, planning firm uh, guiding the full consulting team for Plan ET. Uh, and what I'd we'd like to do here at the beginning uh, is just go through uh, very quickly uh, the Plan ET process and so people can understand where we are currently in the process and how how this webinar and uh, this round two meeting in a box uh, work, uh, it fits into the bigger picture. Uh, so you can see here on the screen, uh, we have uh, three phases uh, of Plan ET uh, and we are currently uh, in phase one and that, that phase is really organizing the project and establishing uh, the shared identity and vision for, for Plan ET. And here we're looking at organization of the project. Uh, we're also doing a lot of data collection and understanding what's going on on the ground, uh, trends and existing conditions in the region to have a good foundation for, for planning the future. And we're also uh, asking people for their aspirations and future ideas for the future uh, and, and working at crafting a, a, a regional uh, future vision. Uh, we are right at the end of phase one at this point and we're asking people uh, there in this, in this round two of outreach, uh, we're asking people to be looking at what are their ideas for, for the future uh, and we're going to be then moving into phase two which is looking at what are the trends for the future uh, and based on people's ideas of the future and the, then the trends uh, that, that, that go, in, go into the future, how do the, the trends and people's ideas match up uh, in phase two to come up with several different choices uh, for achieving the future vision for the Plan ET region. And in the middle of phase two, we're going to be, be uh, building consensus around what that preferred future direction for the region will be. And from that, we're then going to be crafting specific strategies or policies around uh, transportation, around health, around housing and neighborhoods, and around economic development, and other specific areas that we can, we can craft specific strategies to achieve the broad vision uh, that people are agreeing, uh, agreeing on in phase two. And then moving from phase two into phase three, this is where we really get into the nuts and bolts of how do we implement the, the vision and the broad strategy that are established in phase two, how do we implement through a, uh, an action plan uh, uh, all of those ideas. So we'll be putting that into a draft planning document, uh, we will be looking at endorsement of the policies uh, throughout phase three, uh, but in addition to that we're going to look at at, at indicators or benchmarks to measure progress going forward in the, in the planning process. How will the region know if it's, it's, if it's improving or seeing success in implementation? We'll provide those yardsticks. And we're also going to be looking at capacity building training, looking at leadership, looking at areas where organizations need help uh, with beginning the implementation process so we can have some of those early wins and build momentum for the full action plan uh, for Plan ET. Now you can see here at the bottom, all along the way throughout all three phases, we are doing public outreach efforts. Uh, meeting in a box is one of those efforts, but we're doing surveys, we're doing forums, uh, we're doing other online outreach mechanisms to really reach people where they are and they're comfortable with communicating their ideas, their concerns, uh, and their passion about the Plan ET region. We're also working with organizations and leadership in capacity building. What are the needs? You know, what, what are the areas where we, the region really needs to 
either through leadership or through organizational structures really position itself so that it can uh, be ready for the action plan uh, to be able to implement uh, smoothly the, the results of the planning team process. So that in general is, is, is what is happening over throughout the entire planning team process. Uh, and now I'll turn it back over to Jocelyn to describe more uh, the meeting at a box material and, and uh, the, the training for today. Great. Thanks, Rob. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch screens over to myself here so you should be able to see my screen now. And I just want to give a little bit of context of some of the other ways in which we are gathering input. Um, that, that bar that Rob showed across the bottom of that slide where there's public en engagement and capacity building. There are a couple different ways throughout the entire process that we'll be gathering input. Uh, one is community forums and really the, the meeting in a box uh, mimics the community forums to a certain extent. So uh, as we will, as we talk through the meeting in a box, you'll see if, if for those of you who are at the the phase two, or I'm sorry, the form two uh, sessions, you'll see that it is really similar. But I did also, also just want to highlight quickly some of the other ways in which we're gathering input. Um, there are some stakeholder meetings that are being held uh, and some small group sessions to get input um, from business groups and um, particular stakeholder groups, as well as uh, some online methods. So um, this is the a main Plan East Tennessee website, and it, and it shows uh, results of the form of the uh, form two as well as form one, lists events where people can come and participate. Um, but it also has uh, this link to share your ideas, and that takes you to Mind Mixer, which is another way that we're gathering input. And I just want to point this out, and just so you have a sense of how the meeting in a box fits into these other uh, uh, input methods. Uh, Mind Mixer is a way to, for people to generate ideas online and then rate other people's ideas. And this is uh, the form to um, sort of the second round of information that we're gathering via Mind Mixer. So there are not a lot of ideas up here yet. Um, but the idea is that folks can come onto the site, they sign up, um, and then if you click on uh, the neighborhoods topic, for example, you get this question, what should our neighborhoods and communities look like? What amenities should they have? You can click on what's your idea, create an idea, or you can look at other people's ideas and you can like the idea. So you can say this, this idea that someone else submitted, I really like. Uh, you can read the details of that idea. You can share that idea and you can also comment on it. So if I click on read more, I can get uh, this entire idea that some, a user has submitted. I think children in our area need more activities, et cetera. You can like the idea again or come down here and, and provide comments on that idea. So um, that's just to be sure that you know about MindMixer. You're welcome to use it and uh, encourage you to use it. But that also is, is one of the other channels that will be integrating the information from uh, the meeting in a box, the information from the forums, the information from uh, various small group meetings, and the information from MindMixer all together to get a sense of what the uh, vision is, citizens' vision for the future is for the region. 